One of the main challenges for original equipment manufacturers is obviously that challenge of deploying solutions all over the world. You have a challenge between different continents that have different types of radio technology and different networks offering different types of services. Um, it introduces an enormous amount of cost for those types of businesses if they need to be thinking about specific locations, specific types of SIM card and different solutions that need to be deployed in those different geographies. Managing the risk of change of technologies and coverage whilst in the field is a really core part of the global deployed product. 2G and 3G we're seeing being sunsetted in different regions. Different locations have different priorities over technologies that they deploy. The ecosystem is constantly changing. The technology will be unpredictable. So our role as um, the connectivity provider um, is to be able to remotely manage those challenges and to be able to economise where necessary and to manipulate remotely um, the offer and the solution that we give our customers. So navigating connectivity challenges is a real core part of the eSIM product. The Wireless Logic eSIM has a um, bootstrap profile which affords coverage all over the world and we appreciate that there are different challenges in different locations whether that be a requirement a regulatory requirement for a local profile in certain locations or maybe data sovereignty where the payload can't leave the country. The whole point in the eSIM product from Wireless Logic is that you can allow us to worry about that so you don't have to. So that same eSIM technology that helps us navigate changes and challenges within coverage is the same technology which supports us in the solution of advancing and evolving over the lifespan of the device. A very difficult part for an IoT device manufacturer or designer is that initial necessity to decide on what cellular technology you're going to use on day one. The point of the global deploy solution on an eSIM is that we can evolve that with the customer over time. So today it might be 2G, tomorrow it might be LTEM, down the road it could be narrowband version 3. We don't know what's going to exist, it's extremely unpredictable. But eSIM and a partnership with a company like Wireless Logic enables us to progress whilst that device is in the field without having to send someone out and physically change anything. Anyone in the IoT ecosystem would benefit from eSIM. And we appreciate that early in the de design process, cellular connectivity decisions are being made. Um, and eSIM is adaptive. It can change over the lifetime of a device and give you peace of mind. At Wireless Logic, we have the expertise, the experience, the partnerships and the infrastructure to help you manage and design your next IoT deployment.